Okay, so I'm at the water queue in uh, Stockholm World Water Week with, uh, could you please uh, lift your bags? Come out, car. Come out, please. Well, explain well, a little bit about yourself. My name is Kamal Kar and I live in Calcutta, in India. And uh, uh, our foundation, we have a CLTS foundation, Community Late Total Sanitation. And CLTS is now, you know, I developed this approach back in 1999, in 2000 in Bangladesh. Yeah. And that's now being practiced in 43 countries across the world. And uh, this is now, um, you know, it's, it's a no subsidy. It's to basically community empowerment story. Mm -hmm. And uh, more than 20 million people across Asia, Africa, and Latin America is is benefiting, you know, through this. It's not subsidy. It's not waiting for somebody. People. It's a story of self mobilization. Mm -hmm. People stop open defecation mm -hmm. and then they change and it moves on to mm -hmm. hygiene behavior change and you know, lot many other things, including into the improving livelihoods. Mm -hmm. It's all done by the community, local, natural leaders emerge. A lot yeah. of things happens. So well, what what inspired you to start this? Well, movement uh, it is now. I it, guess. Is, it is a movement, and uh, in fact, you know, it all started when I went to evaluate a program of water aid in Bangladesh, yeah. and that was a typical, you know, subsidized program. Latrines were constructed, and that's where I could see the tip of the iceberg, because the the same everywhere we went, the the program was implemented very nice, but there was shit in the field everywhere yeah. in the open. Yeah. So I, I thought that you know there was hardly any health impact. Yeah. Because some people, number of latrines increasing, but open defecation going on. Yeah. So people realize that we are eating each other's shit. Yeah. And then we use this, these different tools in CLTS, mm -hmm. where people understand that how the, uh, their contact with the human shit uh, is not just broken by constructing latrine, unless everyone stops open defecation. Yeah. So that's where, you know, from where it all started. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, but now it's in, um, in many countries, in something like 25, 26 countries in Africa, yeah. in Sub-Saharan Africa, yeah. it's changing. In this workshop, I see that there's a lot of theoretical discussions going yeah. on and the people are talking about that this should happen and that should happen. Yeah. But nobody is talking about how it should happen. And yeah. that we are in CLTS, we are talking about that. Yeah. And if you ask these people, this whole crowd, you know, yeah. with this all highly dressed and you know smart people, you <laughs> tell them. You, I mean, I asked in a, in a conference day before yesterday yeah. that I asked them that how many of you saw any person shitting in the open during the last sixty days? Please raise your hands. Only four or five hands were really? raised. Yeah, in the whole hall of hundred people, only four or five hands were raised, and they all came from South Asia. Nepal, India, and uh, some few from Africa. Yeah. Then I said, who are these crowd? This 2.8 billion defecated in the open today morning and they're going to do that same thing tomorrow. And if we don't see them, where do we live? What's your link? You know, with this, that big, we are talking about. Yeah. So anyway, so these so, are good. Yeah, exactly. So what, what is your message then? How, how to break the cycle of theoretical my, nonsense to action? Yeah, my, my message to this is that change our attitude. Yeah. And then start learning that how we can en enhance access to the people mm -hmm. and start learning from those those who live in that situation, difficulty in the open, involve them and handing over the whole state and empower them. And they know because they're all human beings, you know, they're all human beings. And that's how that is the, the spirit, how CLTS is also spreading. So more and more that kind of you know, decentralize these things, you know, in the south, more in the south, more involving these people, bringing them, you know, on the take, bringing them on the front seat, mm -hmm. and also learning from them and participatory technology development, that sort of thing, that will that will bring a change in the whole thing. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you very much for this uh, great interview. Passionate yeah. about well, your work, okay. and that's great to hear. So uh, thanks very much. Wish thank you all you. the best. Thanks very much. Thank yeah. you. Yeah.